Today is March 5th, 2018, and this is your daily blog number 52. Hopefully I'm right about that. Yes, 52. I got it right for the... Oh, man, why is that so hard to say? But anyways, uh, let me just give you guys some history on what's going on right now. And uh, there might be some new viewers that are coming to my channel. I'm a daily blogger, and basically I started my channel... Uh, looking at cryptocurrencies and just wanted to create a YouTube channel uh, that is dedicated to just talking about cryptocurrencies altogether. Anyways, around episode 17, my daily blog, I said I bought Profit Trailer. Okay. And then I bought Profit Trailer and it keeps going, keeps going. And then 20, or excuse me, 14 days later, I report to you guys that, hey, Profit Trailer got me 20%. Okay. And then we keep going, keep going, and then I report to you guys, hey, I've lost 10% in BTC in the next 14 days. So I'm like, what the heck, man? And I'm so disappointed that when I've reported this information, I've lost 10% in BTC afterwards. It's just how the market is, guys, and it sucks, right? Hopefully, we're back in a, a, a bullish run, hopefully sometime soon, and we just start making our profits back. Just so that everyone understands, I still have gained 20%, or excuse me, I gained 20%, lost 10%. So I'm still up 10% in BTC, okay? Um, overall, I think my price is increased because BTC ha price has increased as well, okay? So I think I started like at $1,100 and then I am I have like 1200 or something because I'm at uh, 0.11 BTC instead of 0.1. So gained 0.11 or excuse me, gained 0.01 in BTC altogether in my profit trailer. So because of the 10% loss, I'm just I'm just like, you know what? I really need to sit down and really look at Profit Trailer and see what I need to do to make it work. So then this is what ended up happening. I put in some really bad settings on this video here, right? Just to get me an understanding of, wait, hey, what the heck do I need to do? And then I follow by a low BB strategy and it works. Like it immediately starts working for me. I'm like, hallelujah. And then boom, 35 sales next day, all right? Now, let me just go ahead and show you guys Profit Trailer right now. Profit Trailer, I'm at 54 sales, so I have gained. So these are stop losses that I've triggered, and uh, I need to look at the time. Actually, I need to really look into these coins. I didn't look at these. But if you look, um, I made or made 16 additional sales, but these stop losses hurt me pretty significantly because I'm only gaining cents, like 40 cents, uh, 18 cents, 18 cents, maybe 40 cents here, but that's a dollar. That's $2. That's a, that's a decent amount of money to be losing when you're only gaining so small amounts, right? And then if I go to my DCA logs right now, it doesn't look that pretty. Look at it. Uh, in the last 24 hours or so, something happened. Um, around 3 o'clock or so, no more buys triggered. Uh, my bots stopped working a little bit because I think I had some protection. And I just got really lucky um, because... I feel like what would have happened with my coins is it would have DCA'd multiple times and it would have done a stop loss, okay? Um, so, actually, ah, this is so tough. I have put trailing buy at 0.1, but I'm gonna change that to 0.2. I'm gonna leave this all min buy balance percentage at 80%. Actually, let's reduce it. Let's reduce it because I need to learn. And let's reduce it. I want every coin, let every pair to DC as much as it wants. Okay. All right. So pairs, I also set it to negative five, but I'm going to put back that to zero. Okay. Because I was full with all these pairs and I didn't want my bot to be buying anymore. Okay. So that's why I reduced it to negative five. Yeah, this sucks. You know, when you have profit trailer, you're always modifying your settings, man. Like every day you're modifying your setting. I'm wanting to find some good settings so I could use PT magic and just be done with it and never have to touch it. I mean, I don't think that will be the case, but that's my ultimate goal, guys. All right, so where do we leave off on? I talked about my YouTube video, and this is where we're at. Please don't use my settings unless you, you want to gamble just like me. I don't mind losing money right now, okay? I'm trying to figure out what the best strategy is for me so I can make some cash. Enough of me ranting. Let's talk about what I have learned. Whew, that was long. All right, so what I ended up doing was I charted every single one of these coins during the uh, the period that it made a sell, okay? And so I wanted to see, hey, individually, that coin specifically, what was the 24-hour trend? And can that help me in any way, fashion, or form? All right, so when I look at it, and I, kinda, I didn't get the exact information, like 
uh, from when it bought it, but I just took a rough estimate. I just said, hey, day four, right? What was the trend on day four? Or even the previous trend, right? But I just said, okay, day four, we, I could live with that. Um, and if we look, most things are pretty much on the up. So we, got, we have what? Let's see here again, 12% plus. Uh, 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 DGD was negative 4%, going with a few others. Uh, Ethereum Classic is up at, I think, 2%. And then we have, uh, what is that? Genesis Vision at negative 5%. ICX is at negative one and so forth, one percent and so forth, so forth, zero um, percent, pretty much negative one. OMG was zero. Um, this one, I'm sorry, not OMG. Nose was zero. OMG gained a little bit here, one point two or one point seven, and four percent on POA as well as V Chain was at uh, two point eight seven percent, and just a few others. Okay, so. This is the information I received, right? And then I went ahead and looked at BTC as well. So let's take a look at BTC and see if any if anything matches. And I'm still collecting data. I'm not concrete, but if we take a look at BTC, if we do, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles, BTC went negative two percent. And then let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles. Seven candles. Ah, let me see if this one helps here. Two percent rise on one candle, and then the next one is one point seven eight. Okay, so this is what I want to get at to you guys. All right, um, I'm trying to find the information possibly so that my bot will not buy any pairs when BTC does its swings. I'm trying to still see if it actually matches. So just look at the fourth candle from the from the back and the uh, the fourth candle from the front okay and just let's just take a look at these coins uh, BTC goes down right and then BTC goes up right BTC goes down this one doesn't sort of represent so we want to uh, uh, the opposite we want an inverse of the BTC okay this is the shape we're looking for inverse and we're trying to see if all these graphs look like they have an inverse and no no sort of you know I mean I don't know Oh, this one's perfect inverse. Ethereum Classic, geez. Um, okay, possibly. Um, this one slightly looks like more of an inverse. IOTA definitely did an inverse. Um, let's take a look at some of these. Uh, Nano inversed. Uh, Neo looks like an inverse as well. Uh, Null's inversed as well as OMG Go, sort of. I mean, I don't know exactly what that means here because this was the fourth candle. So one, two, three, four, and it dropped. It's, um, it's, I guess there's some lag. Uh, after BTC rises um, on the other coins. Uh, and then let's take a look at uh, a little bit of inverse, a little bit of inverse, right? So I'm trying to figure out if BTC actually makes a difference in these coin pairs. So I'm going to use Profit Trailer Magic to identify it. Now, uh, for everybody that's out there, I am not using PT. At this time, no PT. All I'm doing is collecting settings and having uh, just some notifications that come to my phone when global market trends happen just so that I know what's going on Okay, so I Compiled all this data in Excel. All right, so let me go ahead and show you the Excel now um, Let's see here. Let's go to the 24-hour and give you an idea So this is a 24-hour on all the coins and then the average of the 24 uh, uh, average of all these coins I took out the duplicates too. the average was 2.44 Okay, so it looks bullish, right? Based upon the coins, it looked pretty bullish. 2.44% on everything. Um, PT Magic, let's see here. PT Magic, uh, BTC, yeah. BTC was at negative 1 to 1%. It really didn't fluctuate too much. It went down 1% and went up 1%, okay? Actually, it was like 2%, right? Let me go take a look again. Da, da, da. Go back to BTC. Yeah, it's like, well... I guess what I was trying to get at is the 24-hour period. Okay, that's where I'm trying to get at, the 24-hour period. But I might use BTC at an 8-hour window. Maybe that that's good enough for me. Just looking at this information, I might try to trend off 8 hours. We're going to stamp it right now, remember it, so the next time we trend something, we'll go back to the 8-hour and see what happens. I mean, technically, I could go back a lot more. We, we already have these charts, right? Let's take a look at some. Um, does that inverse? We're just looking at the boxes, right? So let's see here. 
So let's look at what BTC sort of looks like. BTC gained a rise and BTC gained a rise. Okay. BTC gain a rise. So we're looking at day three. Day three, and it doesn't equal. We want to see negatives. We want to see a red box. Red box. Mm. It did sell at that point. So on the third candle or so, it did sell. So let's take a look again on the third candle. And no, it, it doesn't represent. It, it's not always clear, right? When you look at the day value, it's not always clear. That's the third day. You know what we really need to do is look at historical graphs and just go super macro scale because the 24 hour might be just too hard to track um, just in general. So we could do this in a whole new video. I'm going to spend hell of time on it. And I, I really need to do my research on BTC and how it uh, affects the alt market because uh, it's not always the same. And I want to see if we could find some good triggers or good information that could help us use PT magic again to dial in our settings, right? So once we get this data, we're going to use PT Magic to set up our all our trends. So let's go back to the Excel. And based upon the all the coins, the 24 hours listed here on the uh, column N, and I did the average of all uh, all these coins that I purchased, and I took the duplicates out, okay? And if we look at it, it was an average of a 2.44% bullish trend so uh, this is maybe a possible setting a low BB setting when it's 2.44 percent uh, market trend or you know if the coin is at around 2.4 percent so this is what I'm feeling like I'm needing to do the range was this though however negative 3 to negative 26 but the average was 2.44 okay uh, Bitcoin was at a negative 1 to 1 percent if you look at the 24 hour on BTC it was about 1 percent across the board and then yeah, I think that's pretty good. Now, there was a little bit of trickiness to it. Uh, there was a four-hour window that the coin did drop, uh, but it really didn't affect me too much because I was able to sell nonstop afterwards. I need to go ahead and collect more data. I need to look at my losses, but today was the day I wanted to go ahead and look at my profits first. Uh, tomorrow, I'll go ahead and look at my stop losses that I have on Profit Trailer and see why this occurred, right? Because the big thing for me right now is I need to figure out why these three coins here, uh, ICN, POA, and, or actually it's only two. Um, it just uh, sold it twice because it's going to sell the whole thing. So I need to figure out how I need to adjust my settings so I could prevent these buys here okay and I'm I need to go ahead and do that oh man I have a lot more to talk about shoot guys there is also a whole new thing I was looking into and let me sh I've, I've been doing so much re research today uh, so if you look at profit trailer I consider these bags okay I consider them bags because it didn't go out within 30 minutes so all my trades and my sale logs are, not all, but 90% of them within an hour they sold. Within an hour, okay? So then in my DCA logs right now, um, all these coins have been in here for eight hours or so. All right, so if you haven't noticed on the timestamp, it's another hour later, and I've been, I mean, I've been finding some new information, so now I need to talk about BTC again. So if we look at Profit Trailer, I told you guys these are my bags, right? Okay, and these are my bags. These are the pairs I didn't want to buy because it never sold. So, how can I prevent my bot from buying these pairs? Well, I have to base this on BTC. Okay, and I think this is a good trend to look at. And um, based upon everything I'm looking at, it looks like when. So, try to see. You can barely see it, but on both sides, there's a red crosshair. Okay, so I'm going to just say BTC. Look on the left side. Look on this side. BTC is going up, 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 down, 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 down. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and look at a few other ones. Um, let's see here. Neo. Let's do the same. All right. Uh, Neo. Uh, let's see if we can see the crosshair on the left. Okay. Let's look for the crosshair. Uh, BTC is going down, 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 up, 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 up. Okay. So that's Neo. Uh, let's look at a few others. Um, this one doesn't reflect exactly. This one's like going up, 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 down, 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 and the coin's going down too, right? 
let's try it. BR uh, bread coin. It, it doesn't work the same way, but ETH is almost like ETH is like exact. It's like crazy actually. Um, let's take a look at here. Um, let's go. Uh, BTC is going down, 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 up, 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 up. Okay. Just want to throw that out there. All right. So. We could sort of say that BTC has some value, um, or we could try to use BTC, and I think this is going to be my first indicator that I'm going to add into PT Magic, okay? Because I don't mind narrowing my scope. I've been talking about it, right? I don't mind narrowing my scope, and I think this is something that we found. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I'm planning on narrowing it down, all right? So I'm going to move myself away. And uh, this is the trend I'm going to be putting in. These are BTC. BTC, one hour. BTC, three hour. BTC, six hour. BTC, 12 hour. Okay. And the reason for that is, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Let's look at, let's look at the most pristine example. Let's look at ETH. ETH is the most pristine example that you can look into. Okay. So let's look at one, two, three, four, five, six. This is six candles to the left, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Notice if you look at both screens, it's selecting the same candle. And let me go ahead and let me just go show you guys in BTC what this is. All right, that's 1.78%. So I, did, I put my setting at, if it goes up by one hour, in one hour it goes up by 1.5%, don't buy the coin, okay? Don't buy any coins. No all points. Hold your BTC because I need you to hold the BTC because you're going to get more value, right? And then let's go ahead and go to the uh, let's go to the three hour. So this is where it triggered, all right? In the one hour period, it went up 1.5 percent. I still don't want it to buy anything, right? So let's go ahead and look at the three hour period, right? It went up 2.75 percent. Okay, so then I said in a three hour period, if BTC goes up by 2.5 percent, don't buy. Okay, I still don't want it to buy because if you look. ETH is still going negative, right? So then let's, I went to it, six bars. Six bars, I said, under 3%, don't buy. Or excuse me, if BTC is going above uh, 3%, don't buy. And let's, let's protect ourselves all the way to the 12 hour. Let's go 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 bars. If BTC goes up by 3% here, I still don't want to buy. BTC goes down a little bit, and then maybe this is when I start wanting to buy. It's actually still a meteor gain, um, but I don't really care about the 12 hour at that point, right? So let's go ahead and see if this works too. So we just talked about these settings, one hour, 2.5 hour, three hour, three, you know, these are my settings, right, that I want to incorporate. So what would be the next step? Well, this should be the next step then. I should... If I use these settings, I want, let's say, when does ETH get a rise? ETH gets a rise at uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, the fifth bar. So on both sides, the fifth bar, all right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fifth bar. Okay, so BTC goes down, ETH goes up. How do I buy? How do I trigger that buy? Based upon the 12 hours, I'm going to buy it because... That's 10 bars. Should I just say nine bars? Okay, we could live with nine bars. Because if I buy now, that's good, right? So nine hours of growth, don't buy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and readjust our settings to nine hours of growth. So instead of the 12 hour, I'm gonna say nine hours. Okay, so PTC goes up by 3% at the nine hour mark, don't buy. Um, all right, let's see here. This is 1%. Nope, these are not 1%, but I'm still protecting myself because the BTC 9 hour, right? I just want to make sure, when do I start getting into sell mode? When do I get Ethereum starts going up? Is That's the question. So when BTC finally starts going down, okay. When BTC starts going down, 1.5%. Oh, man, this is tough. All right, I'll go ahead and show you guys myself now. Okay. Let me just make sure. So we want to make sure with these settings, I'm going to be able to buy at this candlestick, okay? 1.5. Okay, one hour definitely doesn't. Let's try the three hour. Okay. Yeah, I make the three hour, 2.5%. I, I don't cross that threshold. At the six hour, 3%. One, two, three. 
Okay, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't cross it at the six hour. Okay. How about the nine hour? Uh, the nine hour, it just stops right there, right? Because that's what I told it to do. Uh, I'm in the way now, Jesus. At the nine hour. Well, it's around here, but it did go all the way up here. But at the nine hour, um, where did it end off? It ended up here. Nine hour. Okay. I said at 3%, nine hours. I can live with that. Okay. 3%. 6%, 3%, um, and then let's take a look at, this shouldn't be 3% here. Nope. Let's we'll start, we'll start working there again. Let's see if it protects myself on the BTC upswing on this one here too. That's the real question, right? Because, um, oh man, this is sort of ugly right here. This is all still going down. BTC is uh, oscillating back and forth, and Ethereum's tanking based upon that. I guess that's a gamble I'm, I have to take a risk on. Okay, because you can't be perfect. So let's try to use these metrics again. One hour, 1.5, don't buy. Now I'm going to buy here. I'm going to start buying here. And actually, if I bought there, I would have DCA'd and it came back up, right? Yeah, easy. I would have DCA'd and it easily came back up. If I bought from here, let's say my bot started working from this point, right? Um, maybe. Two point four. Yeah, two DCAs. Negative one, negative one. Get out of the bag. All right. I could live with that, people. I could totally live with that. Okay. So th this is going to be my PT magic settings, and stay tuned. I'm going to incorporate these another hour later. Give me one second. So guys, um, I spent a lot of time um, looking into this and looking at the uh, BTC pump and I created this in my advanced settings video and the numbers didn't look accurate because it was representing the 1.6 hour. So if, if I do 24 hours, so let me go ahead and give you an example. If I do BTC one hour at uh, 1,440 minutes, it's accurate. However, the one hour and the three hour and the six hours and the nine hour is not accurate. Uh, let me go ahead and restart one more time and let me see if I can fix this. But so far, like I, I looked at support cases and all that, but it's still not working the way I wanted to. Uh, it did when I first tested it, which is pretty damn crazy. So like, give me one second. So I got the information that I need. Um, I just didn't know how to read. It was the pump it, oh, excuse me. Uh, this is my file that I have in my Dropbox. So in the description or in my Google Drive, in the description below, you will be able to find this file. And uh, let me go ahead and read this component here. It says, to have the data for one hour, it will take one hour to have that data. Okay, so we just have to wait an hour to get one hour data. Six hours, the same thing. Um, the nine hours as well as, yeah, that's it, right? One, three, six, and a nine. So this is how I created every single trend. If you look here, I use I first thing exclude main pairs, uh, main currency equals false, BTC, uh, coin market cap. Uh, this is the important one. Max markets is the very first one, and then trend for sixty minutes. Um, if you look at the wiki, it says it's ascending value from the top coin. So Bitcoin's at the top, and got everything in here. So then if you look. What I created was in a global setting, and notice I only have one global setting and defaults. In this global setting, this is all I'm doing. If one hour um, market trend BTC one hour goes up by 1.5% or two point or 1.5 percent, don't trade. If the three hours above 2.5, don't trade. Uh, over a BTC six hour above uh, the three minute, don't trade. Again, the nine hour if uh, the nine hour the three percent is or greater, don't trade. And how do I make sure it doesn't trade? Sell only mode equals true. And trailing profit at 0.05. <laughs> and I might even take it even more ballsy. I might do a panic sell, guys. So we'll see. You know, I don't know if that's the right uh, decision to make, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I'll go ahead and play around the settings and um, uh, see what it ends up doing. So, and again, thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and um, thanks. All right, bye-bye. Today is March 
5th, 2018. This is your daily vlog number 53. Uh, today is March 4th, it's 2018, and this is your daily vlog number. Actually, it's March 5th. Oh, God damn it. Today is March 5th, 2018, and this is your daily vlog number 52. And